I will continue to stand strong against the extreme late-term abortionists in the Democrat Party who believe in abortion on demand in the ninth month of pregnancy and even executing babies after birth. They actually talk beyond birth, after birth, executing the baby. This is where we've come. No, we haven't. They don't talk about that. They don't do that. That's all made up. But you can sort of understand why someone like Donald Trump would make up such an obvious lie as that. First of all, on the one hand, his audience will buy literally anything. They won't look, they don't care. They just like that he said it because it makes the Democrats sound bad. And they believe that the Democrats are pedophiles who eat children. So you can say whatever you want about them. On the other hand, their position on abortion, access to abortion and other reproductive care is so distasteful to the majority of the country that they have to make the other side sound extreme. If you just point out that the vast majority of the country agrees with the democratic position and believes that people should have these rights, which they've had for decades and decades and decades, then they look really bad by comparison. So you have to lie about them. And some of you might be watching this thinking, well, look, Donald Trump is gonna lie. But it isn't Donald Trump. More and more people, including some who at one point maybe had a shred of dignity, are telling the same sort of lie. Here's Lindsey Graham. Only North Korea and China allow abortion on demand up to the moment of birth, except the Democratic Party. What the Democratic Party proposes on abortion is barbaric. Uh, abortion up to the moment of birth, taxpayer funded, well, I think is barbaric. I welcome this debate. Well, I think the Republican Party will be in good standing to oppose late term abortion like most of the civilized world. I, just for the record, Roe went up to viability, but I just wanna button this up. The no, man that's, no, the no, man. quit covering for these guys. No, 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 your media, you keep covering for these guys. They introduced legislation that allowed abortion on demand with taxpayer funded, uh, well, you paying for it, the taxpayer up to the moment yeah. of birth. That was their position in Washington. That's the law they want to pass and nobody in your business will talk about it. Oh my God. Yeah, and of course, remember that Lindsey Graham is the guy trying to do a 15 week federal ban. And she pointed out, wait, I thought this was supposed to be left up to the states. And he was like, who cares where they are? We gotta do it. So just to remind everyone that when they say they care about states rights only because they believe that that's the only way they're gonna be able to get what they want. As soon as they think they can get it federally, they'll just do it there. So anyway, whether it's Trump, whether it's Lindsey Graham, Francesca, they're just openly lying about what the position is because they feel like they've been backed into a corner on this issue. Absolutely, they have to get more and more and more extreme, even though everyone knows. And like, I want to make a joke. Like, yeah, there's executions. We've all seen sort of, you know, the 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 hangman with his black hood walking through the maternity ward looking for the ugly baby. You know what I mean? Like, no, like it's not even funny anymore. I mean, and honestly, like, this is why this is why like working in media, like, I could never with a straight face sit there and take. As Dana Bash did, having Lindsey Graham tell me, no, 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 stop running cover for them. No, you stop legislating on women's bodies. You have no understanding of this issue. You haven't spent a day in the maternity ward. You haven't spent a day speaking to a pregnant person. You don't know what it's like to be pregnant. You don't know what it's like to give birth. You have no, no concept of this, right? Whether yeah. it's people who want to have kids, whether it's people who don't want to have kids, you have no empathy, you have no concept, you want control. And I just, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of dealing with the, the moral outrage and the BS, the people who are running cover are Republicans because it's not about it's not about viability. It's not about life. It's not about religion. It's not about any it's not about the health of anyone. It is yeah. just about control. And the sooner they can admit that and folks like Dana Bash can get them to admit that, the better then we all can just move on and be like, oh, okay, now we see you and we know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, 100%. The, they're absolute madness, the lies, the idea like, but think about how much dehumanization you have to do, convincing your base that the other side are absolute monsters. That that you would have them believe that someone like gives birth and then's like, eh, kill it. Like that's what they have convinced their audience is routinely happening. It's absolute madness. Um, and thank you to Dana Pash for at least a little bit pushing back. She should have then pushed back to what he said in response, but it's at least a start. <laughs> 
Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.